Hello, so this is either the start of a new vlog or I decided to continue on my other vlog. I haven't obviously decided yet. I did want to do an update because it's already Thursday and I haven't really talked to you at all this week. I have been reading, um, but I picked up Empire of Storms. I am almost done with it, actually. Like, I did a really fast reread. Oh no, it bent a little. I did a really fast reread of it, but I'm on page 513 of 690-ish. So I'm close to the end, but not quite. I did put it back down. I've felt very distracted this week because I'm like anxiously trying to finish reading some of the books that I, I thought that I was going to read this year, but I just don't feel like I will be able to, especially because there's a lot of books that I want to read that weren't in that initial list and like they just appeared in my library, like Hacienda just appeared and so did Final Girl Support Group and I don't know, I'm still kind of in the mood for thrillers, so I'm kind of debating on what to do about that. I am listening to an audiobook right now, but it's not what I'll be talking about in this video. I have read like three more pages of Crooked Kingdom. I don't know why. I This is why if I'm in a reading mood for a certain book, I should not put it down ever. Like I, I just shouldn't because I have a lot of trouble picking things back up once I put it down. I know I'll get to it because like this is like really the best part and it's the part that I remember the least about in Crooked Kingdom. So yeah, but like my main goal right now, I mean, I do... I did want to edit a video, my bookshelf reorganization. I think that'll actually go up next week though. I should actually upload, I just used my big brain energy. I just should upload my vlog footage from last week and at least do the rough edits while I listen to the audiobook. But I also wanted to kind of clean around the house. So, cause everything's like a hot mess. Like I need to fold my laundry. It's just been sitting on my window seat for like a week and I need to do laundry. And I want to like exchange out my winter clothes for like the summer clothes that are hanging up. So this is the start of a new vlog, I've decided. <sighs> Took a minute, but it's fine. I kind of also want to film a TikTok. You know what? I should bring out my planner, which I do every like month or so when I've decided that I wanted to bring out a planner again. And I'm going to try to plot some things down. I think that while I do that, I might just upload the footage from last week mm, actually i don't i don't know i don't know you know <laughs> i'm blurry it's hard to decide things i also see my brain is just like scattered i think i need to just write things down because keeping track of it in my head is not working i need to make some purchases for myself actually because i like ran out of face wash and like random things like that and like i got the wrong concealer color and all this stuff and apparently sephora is having like a 20 percent off sale tomorrow so it worked out because i was actually gonna stick with like the concealer that concealer that didn't match me because I got it for 20% off in their last sale and I didn't want to have to exchange it for the full price one so now I can just do it but in the same go when I started doing my online shopping I was like oh Christmas is coming I should probably at least like look into getting people gifts <laughs> we're thriving literally I don't know this was kind of a pointless update. Just know that I am reading Crooked Kingdom. I'm probably gonna finish Empire of Storms if I can't get into Crooked Kingdom today. And then I might pick up a different audiobook and then like talk to you guys about it. Though I am liking the one that I'm listening to. I just like, it's for a different video to update you on. So I'm not going to do it in this one. But yeah, also I re-cut my bangs yesterday. So I did the, the legging curls. If you're on TikTok, you might've seen it. And it was fine, but I knew that I shouldn't have done it as tight as like they recommend to do it because my hair like really holds a curl ever since I dyed it really blonde. Um, So it turned out like corkscrew curls yesterday. And I thought that a way to make it look more normal would be to cut my bangs again because they were like grown out and I wanted them to, I like them like right over my eyebrows. Like this is actually the length I like it in, but I, um, I was a little too blunt. Like I did it really well the first time and then like I went back through it cause I was like, oh, I wanna, I don't know, thin it out. I don't, I don't know what my goal was, but it like turned out a little too choppy. So if you noticed that, no, you didn't. But yeah, yesterday I did upload my Fairy Loot unboxing video, which I'm really happy that got out. I thought it was really funny. I just wanted it to be a very casual unboxing video, so I just kind of chattered how I normally do, and a lot of people actually liked that, so thank you if you were one of those people that said that you did think I was funny, because I thought I was funny too, so like, it's nice to have the reassurance that there's at least a few other people out there that think I'm funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna put you down and try and plot, plot my life out and probably clean. 
probably, but like maybe, you know, who knows. Hello, welcome to the next day. So yesterday we didn't end up putting any Christmas decorations. I really wanna put some of these Halloween things away before that, not all of them. I'm still kind of feeling a nightmare before Christmas style Christmas. I don't know if I've mentioned that on here, but yeah, that was my plan. I only ended up doing my laundry yesterday, so the house is still a mess behind me. Hello. Oh, welcome to Friday. I just made these noodles and I'm really excited to try them. I got them from Target yesterday, but it's like a, I think it's called Momufoku. I'd have to double check. See, and this is why I need to clean because anytime I don't clean this table, my tripod starts to fall. So, that's how you know. But I did want to open this up. I'm really excited. This is my first fairy loot adult box. So I'm super hyped. I still have to get cleaning done today. I still have to edit the video from yesterday, but let's open this first and then I'll eat and then I'll, then I'll do the rest. I actually don't work until three tomorrow. So we actually might have a weekend. Oh, they still add in the little thingies. So Apollo, okay, what if I put her on the ground? Can you, can you play on the ground? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the theme is bad blood, which is, Exciting. Let me grab that. I didn't know that they'd still put it in the slip case. I'm happy about that. I like to use these. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those sprayed edges already. It looks like old timey gothic ish Victorian wallpaper. Ooh, I bet it's vampire ish. Oh, this is so pretty. So it's a dowry of blood by St. Gibson. I actually think I have heard about this. I don't clearly remember though. It's all the way around. I love that. Wait, let's see it. Let's see it naked. Oh no, look at that end paper. I love that. Oh, shut up. That's really cool, actually. It just looks like a dark manor all the way around. I like that a lot. That's beautiful. Who did they do the... I want to see who did the end papers. Um, by at W-A... Wait, Warwick is how I would say it. Warwicka? W-A-R-I-C-K-A-A-R-T. Cool. And let me just read it for you. Let's see what it says. So this is my last love letter to you, though some would call it a confession. Ooh, spicy. Saved from the brink of death by a mysterious stranger, Constanta is transformed by a medieval peasant into a bride fit for an undying king. Wait, this is giving... What's the first song in Halsey's new album? Oh, I don't know where my phone is. Oh, I have an iPad. Oh, The Tradition. She has like a line like that in The Tradition. Uh, anyways, but when Dracula draws a cunning aristocrat and a starving artist into his web of passion and deceit, Constanta realizes that her beloved is capable of terrible things. Finding comfort in the arms of her rival consorts, she begins to unravel their husband's dark secret. With the lives of everyone she loves on the line, Constanta will have to choose between her own freedom and her love for her husband. The bonds forged by blood can only be broken by death. Oh, well, I see. So it's like Constanta's point of view or a retelling of it from Dracula. This is really cool. I am already pleased. I'm very excited to keep getting the adult boxes. Don't get me wrong, why still holds a place in my heart, but I feel like my tastes have just really been going over to adult lately. So when I saw that they were doing these, I actually wanted to sign up right away and I, <laughs> I put things off as I always do, which I very much regret when Babel came. <sighs> so, oh yeah, the battery's dead. I have been cleaning all day and that was only the upstairs. So I'm about to kind of tackle down here. I had wanted to do some of the decorating today, but I think that um, one of Adam's friends is gonna be coming over. So probably not too much decorating. I've been considering, if you watched, oh, actually I don't know which video is going up first. Either way, I have a bookshelf organization coming up. It might've come out before this video. If it did, I'll link it. But I kind of was running into this problem where there's a lot of books that I still love that I wanna keep because like they're like childhood memories but like I don't necessarily want to display them on my shelves anymore. I don't really want to lock them up into storage. I already have boxes of books that are like in that same line of thought so I've just been turning them around if I didn't like them as much on my shelves but I was looking and I, I hung up this shelf kind of like last minute because I needed a shelf for Halloween decorations. Let me show you. So like that one on top of the TV. Adam wants to get a bigger TV. I thought he was gonna do it for Black Friday. Right now that wall looks extremely empty but it's fine. But when I take down all those Halloween decorations, I'm debating whether I should 
take off the books that are currently on my shelves that I did that with and kind of put them backwards up there. I think it would look cool. I'm, I'm still going back and forth on it. I'm not sure. And I don't really want to take apart my shelves so soon after getting them done because I love how they look, but they are basically full. So like hauling any amount of books is a mission. You know, I don't know. I still really think that I'm going to be doing an unhaul within the next year, going through the books, looking at the ones that don't give me joy anymore. Maybe I'll be selling some. I don't know. I feel weird about selling them, but I also don't want to give them away. Like I don't, I, I have a hard time parting with my books, you know, like I have a hard time, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to do a check-in. I listened to an audiobook today, but again, not one that I'm, not one that I'm, rooting for this video so we won't really talk about it. I have a couple more audiobooks that I could listen to while I finish up the cleaning. A couple of which I wouldn't be able to talk about. Others I kind of maybe want to read the final girls support group. I'm debating it. I will let you know if I decide but for now that's where we're at. I haven't edited my video either but if Adam's friend comes over I probably would just do that upstairs. I Not that I don't want to hang out I just feel like <sighs> There's just work to get done, you know? I feel like around Christmas time, I always get really anxious about about work and like all of that stuff just because obviously this is like the time of the year where I tend to spend the most money because of gifts and it just always makes me anxious. Like it's, it's the thing that's on my mind. So I haven't been able to relax today, which it's kind of whatever. I do have most of tomorrow off too, so until like three o'clock. So I want to get a video up tomorrow, but we'll see what it ends up being. I feel like I've been so wound up that I really wanted to read a poetry book, but I don't know where I put Inward. That's the poetry collection that I'd started to read now a couple months back, right? And I remember storing it in one of the drawers when I was doing like all of my painting and sanding and all that stuff because I didn't want it to get dirty or damaged and I can't find it. Like I, I don't know what I did with it and I was only like a few pages in and I did really like it and I'm bummed because now I'm like in the mood to read poetry but that was like the poetry collection I would have liked to read. Oh no, woe is me, right? Hmm, I should get back to cleaning because if I sit for too long, I'm not getting back up. <laughs> This isn't much of a reading vlog since I can't update you on what I've been reading, huh? So it's either the Final Girls support group, Hacienda, or a fantasy, like a really heavy fantasy. And I just don't know if my mind is in like... Okay, this is actually the other weird thing because I was reading a romance and romance typically is like a lighthearted read, but for some reason, like the fact that it wasn't escapism wasn't helping me out today. I still enjoyed the story, but it wasn't... You know, sometimes you need like a certain amount of escapism to be able to like get out of an anxious mood. For anyone with anxiety, I, I believe you might know what I'm talking about, although I don't know. I've only recently realized that I think I have anxiety. <laughs> I'm not very self-aware in some of the most obvious ways, but when I get in anxious moods like this, I like to read, like to escape, to like kind of get out of my own head. But romance, being in like the real world, I was like, this isn't working. <laughs> I mean like it just wasn't working so it's either poetry for me or fantasy I guess maybe I shouldn't read a horror like story but like actually that kind of also gets me out of my moods I think it's only maybe contemporaries and romance that don't help me if I have anxiety I don't know that might make sense to some of you and it might not so that's that but I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna keep cleaning peace out girl scouts right really did want to decorate for Christmas though. My mom made spam hoobies. They're phenomenal. So anyways, today is Monday. I'm going to be ending the vlog today, pretty sure. I think it's a kind of shorter one, so that's not bad for me. But I have been listening to Final Girl Support Group. I don't know. I don't think I've given you any updates on it. So let's do that now. Basically, no Apollo, this is my spam <laughs> Basically, I'm about halfway through now. Um... I was really not liking it. I wanted to give you an update because I'm a, I think I just got to a part that is going to get really interesting on. I think like a twist just happened that you could only hope for but like you didn't really see coming. The issue that I'm having really with the story was that first of all it's a very like disjointed storytelling style. It's kind of hard to listen to on audio. I, there's a chapter and then the next chapters are like articles because basically you have 
I think five or six girls in this final girls support group. Now, what kind of got to me with this one is that I didn't expect it to... <laughs> It's based off of the idea of the final girl in thrillers, you know, like in those old like 80s slasher movies, old 80s. Sorry if I made anyone feel old just then, but um, the 80s slasher movies where like there was always one survivor and it was the girl who like didn't want to go into the forest, who thought it was a bad idea. She's a virgin. She's always, you know, she's like the, the good girl. And she's always the one that like lives throughout the end and she kills the murderer that went after her and her friends and then she survives. It's based off of that kind of idea and these girls are all final girls. Specifically, they are all final girls who killed their murderer. Now, the, the, the place that this kind of got me at, which I actually didn't like this route, was that it... <laughs> I don't know if this is real, so actually maybe I should do research, but in this story, the final girls all have movies based off of their final girls event. They all have like movie franchises, all of that stuff that are based off of the time that they literally almost died and everyone that they knew died. So I thought that was a little weird. Um, and it's very disjointed because our main character, she feels not necessarily like an unreliable narrator, completely she's a very anxious narrator which is really not easy for me to listen to <laughs> she's given me anxiety um she took it I don't know the other thing that really kind of confused me with this is that apparently all of these final girls have also had sequels like literal life sequels like and that kind of confused me because it's disjointed like I said it's not giving you all this information it's kind of dropping it in and like all of them have apparently escaped their killers or maybe not all of them but a lot of them have escaped their killers thought that they'd won been good and then suddenly their killer comes back or it's the killer's brother or it's the killer's aunt and uncle and whatever you know but like they almost get murdered again in real life which I thought was like a little weird I don't know it's it's it feels almost like camp but not camp because <laughs> she's too anxious for it to be camp she's always like looking for escape routes they've all you know taken it in different ways our main character the girl's head that we're in she is like the over prepared overly anxious does not leave her house for anything will not close her eyes for a few minutes because she thinks she will miss something that will like lead to her death uh she thinks it's gonna happen again no matter what you have another person in the group that like married rich you have another person in the group that like got addicted to drugs you you it's just things like that but also no one knows about the support group like no one in like real life besides these girls and so when events start happening again and it feels like maybe they're being hunted again you actually don't know if the the girl's head you're in is accurate because she feels like an unreliable narrator she's already overly anxious and already thinks all of this is going to happen again so maybe she's seeing too much into these events i don't know there's been a lot of disappointing things there's been a lot of confusing things and there's three people's names that i swear to god have never been mentioned except to piss me off because i don't know who they are <laughs> who's stephanie who is she do you know i don't know um, who's Jillian? I know there's a Julia. I cannot figure out who Jillian is. Is that the therapist? I don't know. The, maybe it's just two names, but those two names are really pissing me off, you know? So, I don't know. I think that we're about to get to a part, though, where this maybe makes starts to make a little bit more sense, but until it does, I'm gonna eat my Spam Asubi, and I will let you know if I like it. Don't eat my Spam! <laughs> I didn't listen to much more of the final girls. I'm gonna listen to it right now. I'm actually going to go work out. <laughs> I'm taking a silks class because one of my coworkers um, teaches silks classes. So we'll see how that goes. I'm probably gonna die. Like in a good way though. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so hard. <laughs> I, wait. So anyways. That was so hard. Like the first thing that started hurting were my little fingers, like the knuckles, like the joints in them. The second thing that started hurting were my feet. And then the third thing that started like really just like <laughs> shaking uncontrollably and I had to like decide on every single movement um, was my arms. I Upper body strength is like necessary for that. But I had a lot of fun. Um, so that was a good time. I'm gonna probably be really sore, which is something because this coming week we're going to Disneyland. So I know, I'm really excited. Adam's never been during Christmas time. I would 
honestly avoid it because there's so many people that go during Christmas time and it's more expensive too, but he's never been and I'm excited, so. Also, more on Final Girls, I figured out who Stephanie was. It was pretty obvious, like, once I figured it out. I figured also out who Jillian was. Jillian's her sister, like, the main character's sister. Stephanie is, um, I don't want to, like, spoil anything, so she's just, like, in it. Don't worry. I know who she is now. And the third girl's name that I didn't remember but kept getting brought up was Chrissy. Figured out who she was, too. I actually really like it now. <laughs> I don't know about really like it, but, like, it's good. Adam's at the gym right now. I think I'm gonna just heat up some pasta that we had last night and I'm gonna listen to more of Final Girls. I have the hiccups. I don't know. Guys, they love each other. Like, I have the hiccups. Where did these come from? I'm gonna eat. I think I have like a rug burn on, or a silk burn on my, right here. And they got, it was a lot of fun though. Highly recommend. It's hard. It humbles you quite quick. <laughs> like, this is not one of those things that you can kind of like fake it till you make it, like, ouch. <laughs> I have the hiccups, okay, I'll be back. I wanted to say I have a theory about Final Girls. Don't worry, I won't spoil you if you don't want to be spoiled, but I'll give you like a hint of what my theory is. My theory is they keep kind of bringing up that this like thing happens, but there's a person specifically that I'm thinking of that we think is dead in the story, but that I think is actually the person that's trying to kill all the final girls. I don't know, I guess I don't think it's who she thinks it is. Like it could be, but I think it would also be funnier if it isn't. Mm -hmm. Also, they're cuddling now. Can you just turn off my camera? The button on top. The odd? Yeah. Off? Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it, does it stop automatically? Yeah. Okay. So, I guess quite obviously I didn't end up closing out the vlog last night. And the reason for that was I realized I'm going to Disney tomorrow. And so there's not really a good point of me starting a new vlog right before that. Yeah, I just, I'm not going to be filming in Disney. I'm just going to be enjoying so there's no point to me starting a vlog before it so i just kind of continued on with this one so yeah now what i did want to say is i finally finished final girls support group today and i liked it a lot more than i thought it would thought it would than i thought i would i still think that i'm gonna give it a three star though just because the storytelling was very disjointed for a really long time and i think that was on purpose i do feel as though we were following very closely to the mental state of our narrator and she wasn't maybe like the most uh healthy she didn't have the most healthy coping skills after her final girl moment you know we were kind of dealing with that but i will say i did love her character journey i was nervous like most of the time i was nervous that it wasn't going to go in the route that i was hoping that it would and that we were going to end up with this whatever ending but i did really enjoy the ending and i did not i did not even kind of guess who the killer was i don't want to say too much on it but the the twist for it there was two twists if you've read it then you know there's two twists that happened that i did not see coming at all like i think that maybe i should have seen it coming once it started to play out I added the pieces pretty quickly because it did make sense it was a very reasonable one but there was a secondary part to that twist that I did not see even a little bit like until it unraveled completely and we got like an explanation I did have like a, a theory on it as it was happening and that theory did end up checking out so it's not like this was a an inexplainable twist 
like a twist just a twist it was really quite well done I think and I will say like that whole ending really did save it for me the main reason I think I was not enjoying it is because like it's one of those stories that there's a lot of anxiety wrapped up in the idea that like the narrator themselves is either unre unreliable or also unlikable in this case she was both she was an unlikable and slightly unreliable narrator and I don't love reading from the perspective of an unlikable character. I don't like when everyone kind of starts to turn on them and doesn't like them anymore. I, it makes me like cringe inwardly. I don't like it. So that did happen to her. I don't think that's much of a spoiler to say that. She just she gives off that vibe, you know? But yeah, I loved the arc that it took. I really liked the way that it ended. I liked who the killer ended up being. And I thought that the explanation for it really checked out. Like it wasn't just there. So granted I still was fairly like thrown off by the idea that like the final girls really did have movies based off of their lives. I still haven't looked up if that's like accurate. I highly doubt, I would hope at least, that the Chainsaw Massacre wasn't based off of a real story, you know? Or Friday the 13th. Freddy Krueger. But these aren't based off real stories, right? If they are, you know, you can leave me in the dark about that because I don't... Uh -uh. But I enjoyed it. Other than that, I still haven't finished Empire of Storms. I kind of like put it down and didn't pick it back up because I don't know when it started to bend. I don't know if it's been bending, but I was trying to straighten it for the past few days. It didn't really work, did it? Okay, that feels better. It is and it isn't. And I've been reading more Crooked Kingdom. I've been reading more Crooked Kingdom. I'm kind of hoping I'll finish it before the trip tomorrow. I'm not a very good car reader. I get a little car sick, so. But I think that I do want to finish one more book for this vlog. It'll either be this poetry collection because I finally found it. It was in a drawer like I thought it was. I just didn't, I don't know. I guess I didn't search hard enough. And if it's not Crooked Kingdom, then I'll finish the poetry collection. I do have like a couple of things to pick up like order wise tonight before the trip tomorrow. So I think once Adam gets back from the gym, that's what we will do. And then I'll give you an update at the end of the night to let you know where I'm at with everything. Yeah, <laughs> side note, I recut my bangs the other day. I think I've mentioned this now that I'm saying it out loud, this like is something that I think happened in the video already. And I think finally, I like how they look. It was just like it needed to grow out a little bit and now I'm enjoying them because up until this moment they were so choppy they didn't work but today my hair is a little bit dirty my bangs are a little bit choppy and somehow that's when it works you know I think I want to pick up another audiobook I was gonna say I wanted to vacuum before Adam got back but like I really would like to read so I think that's what we'll do good morning <laughs> I did the legging curls I tried this last week didn't work so oh wait good ni good Disneyland morning we're gonna leave soon it's like almost six now I just wanted to see if these turned out okay this time last time they were way too curly and this time I've only left them in for like five hours max so let's see before we go I'm also gonna take six of crows with me if I finish it I'll give you one more update if not this is your last update of the vlog and that'll be goodbye yeah depends on whether I fall asleep in the car you know Adam's driving. Obviously, I guess. <laughs> Can't sleep and drive. Alright, let's see. Mm -mm. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I said zoink. Um. You know, it's not it's not terrible and it's gonna have time to calm down in the car so I'm just gonna let it be like super curly for right now and then I'll play with it later so that worked kind of I'm wondering if I should take my straightener to like play with different pieces hmm I feel like I should this isn't as bad as last time though last time it was like staying up this time at least it fell like a little bit anyways we're going to Disneyland I'm wearing my stitch shirt for the drive I'll let you know if I finish six of crows if not then thanks for watching this vlog.